in the days when vinyl was synonymous with records, many people listened to LPs from start to finish. Those days seem long gone. But Mark Engenhardt and Duc Tibui still remember them. So two years ago, they founded a company called Playtime. As albums can run to 60 or 70 minutes, today listening to an entire work is a unique experience. Reintroducing that to people and culture was our original idea. Whenever playtime is on the bill at a German cinema, as here at the Babylon Movie Theatre in Berlin, visitors pay five euros to listen to a record in the company of others. This evening's auditory treat is Bob Dylan's double album, Blonde on Blonde. Playtime was even nominated as European Trendy Brand at this year's Cultural Brand Awards. The idea of consciously enjoying something without distractions is catching on. That's what Playtime is all about, taking time to press play and just listen to hear music played at its own tempo, without pressing skip or fast-forwarding, or being seduced by other opportunities, other songs that are just one click away. To just abandon yourself to the music from start to finish. Listening to an entire album requires time and leisure, and these days few people make the effort. Today we're barely able to perform any activity for a long time. We live in two-hour cycles. Every two hours there has to be a new impetus, whether it's going to the theatre, the cinema, visiting friends or having dinner. Everything synced to this two-hour rhythm. Then we need something new. Time seems to be running away from us. It's a plague of our modern age, yet this feeling isn't so new. Even 2,000 years ago, philosophers like the Roman Seneca were preoccupied with this phenomenon. Back then he figured, and this applies to the present too, that a third of our time was taken from us, a third disappeared unnoticed, and a third slipped away. The longing for life to slow down is growing. People are doing lots of things to escape stress, visiting spas, taking holidays on farms and leaving their cell phones behind when they go on a hike. This desire for things to slow down has become a trend. It's certainly still a niche trend, but I think it'll become more important as people are already noticing that many things in our time change too quickly. Perhaps the multi-option society of the last few decades is overtaxing us. Back at the Babylon Cinema in Berlin, the album is about 70 minutes long, not including the pauses needed to change the record. Yet none of the visitors leave before it's finished. It's really pleasant to listen to an album at the cinema and also it's very nice to be able to do it at the right volume. At home you sit down and get distracted by some screen, your mobile phone or whatever you're using to listen to the music. Here you just get to listen to the music. I think that it's bringing back an idea of music that we need to keep alive. Yeah. It's super interesting. Yeah. Playtime is a 70-minute break. And no matter when it happens, morning, noon or night, it really is that, a break. Playtime's inventors plan to present their concept in other major European cities. They want to keep the wheels turning, but not too fast. When you 